You're 19 years old, and it's your third day in a maximum security prison back in the 70s. Let me share a story with you what happened. My male mentor, who had trained me for the last few days, said, when you go into the unit to serve the breakfast, you have to count the spoons. It was maximum security, you only got a spoon to eat with. He said, if you don't get them all back out, they could find the broken and a shiv in your back tomorrow. Have you got it? <laughs> so then I went in and I pushed the big meal wagon in, just like you see in the hospitals, and I positioned it properly in the unit. And I had never stopped, stepped across the threshold yet, and it was just like everything you see on prison break. And I was nervous. And so I started opening the cell doors and handing out the spoons. And by the third one that I handed out, I looked down and I realized they were all coming out naked. They hadn't done it to him, but they were doing it to me. I mean, I hadn't even seen a real live one yet. <laughs> I was saying, think like a nurse or a doctor. Think like a nurse or a doctor. By about the 12th one that came out, they even started a few shimmies. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. It was back in the 70s where they were just putting women in non-traditional male roles and vice versa. I thought it was my great grades. I was meeting a quota. <laughs> and I was going to quit that night. I went home and I thought, you know what? They're right. I don't belong. And I wrote up my resignation letter. And in the morning, I woke up with a different resolve. I thought, maybe I just need different tactics than men. Maybe what they can do, I'm not allowed to, and I just have to find my own way. You see, the male officer, with no problem, would have said, Smith, get back in your cell and get your pants on. And if I had done that, they would have said, ooh, how can we get her tomorrow? So this is what I did. I went in the unit, pushed the meal wagon back in, armed with my spoons. I kicked on each cell door and said, if you'd like breakfast, get up and get dressed. If you'd like breakfast, get up and get dressed. If you'd like breakfast, get up and get dressed. By the time I came back around to the first cell, they were all dressed. And they never came out naked again in front of me for the next four years. The first technique for women in the book is set expectations up front. Without disdain, without anger, without contempt, just tell people what you need.